<sighs> Welcome back. Let's play Digimon World Next Order. I screwed up completely. It's not even the first time I've done this in the past month. I did the same thing in that Dress World Evolution Dynamania video, like right at the end. I accidentally closed Audacity without saving. And because I closed it and clicked, you know, don't save option, because I thought, for whatever reason, I'd already saved the audio. That's not the case. So I have to re-record this, which is a bit awkward, to say the least. So I'm actually holding my microphone this time, because I'm not using my headset mic for this. This is a, a real, real pain in the ass. And I, I, I it was like literally the second that I, you know, uh, hit that, you know, close option. At that very moment, I realized I done fucked up. It's like, I didn't save that, did I? Shit. So, I can't recover it, so here we are. I don't even know where to begin. It's just not the same if I'm not actually playing the game. I'm just watching the video back here. I must have obviously been rambling about something else here, and I can't even remember what it was. If I rambled about something, I certainly rambled for quite a bit, because I was on the screen for a while. Yeah, awkward, I can't, it's like, I can't exactly be like, okay, let's do this whole part the exact same way I recorded it. Ramble about the exact same things. Oh wait, I think I remember what I was rambling about at the start. Uh, what was it? The, uh, yeah, I was... Talking about how, you know, how I came across, well, I didn't get, well, I did, but I didn't watch the video, because, like, when I, you know, write a video description, I spell check, but it doesn't have, like, the spell check in there that, like, points it out. So my way of spell checking is copy, paste, well, not copy, paste, but, you know, copy, search into Google to make sure I've spelled correctly. And I did that for Invert Cauldron. I saw that someone had a playthrough. And they were like part 20 something in, and they were in from Cauldron, and their video was like half the length of my usual video, so it's like, how do you do that? How could you possibly get that far in the game in such a short amount of time? And the answer is obvious. Editing the living shit out of this, I assume. A lot of YouTubers do that. I'm the complete opposite. Just leave in most of it, it's just like, no. If you were playing the game yourself, this would be what you'd have to deal with, you know? You don't get any fancy edits where you're like, Okay, and I'm suddenly halfway through the game within a matter of a few hours. It's like, as a thing as well, I imagine that people like that probably play the game for multiple hours in one go and then edit the crap out of it. I can't really do that because I don't have the space to, you know, be able to record for that amount of time and even then I don't really edit all that much so it's like two different types of you know playthroughs the ones that have a lot of editing and the ones that have minimal editing I'm obviously in the latter on that let's try to edit into the video if, if I remember oh yeah I remember now do I no well that was in the previous part was it must have been. Where I, like, you know, flip the Specsavers logo case. Weird how the space... Oh, yeah, this was a point. Yep, I remember. At the same time, I don't. Because it might have been the previous part. Where I'd rambled about, you know, uh, the um, dimensional district and how it works. And how I mentioned it more in the video description. Yeah, it was actually this part where I rambled about it. You know, in the video description part 68, I, you know, went into more detail on how it works. So I might as well, you know, redo that, what I said in the original recording before I accidentally got rid of it without realizing that I hadn't saved first. It's like, make sure you save before you close. But the Dimensional District works like this. It's like the back dimension in the original Digimon world where you fight the machine Dramon after the main story occasionally. It's got that kind of area to it, like the infant cauldron, but small. 
has hostile Digimon in your fight, but it has two boss Digimon per dimension or dungeon, if you will, and those Digimon are Digimon that join the city, obviously. Otherwise, you can't really do go to any of the dimensions unless you've got two Digimon that are in at least one dimension. That's how you unlock it. And in amongst them are also helpful Digimon that will give you free stuff. I say free stuff, but there's one that's like... Hyler expands your lifespan or expands the time because there's a time limit to whenever you go into the dimensions. That's why the upgrade is there so that you get more time with each upgrade. And they'll expand your time and then take like 10,000 bits from you, you greedy bastard. But there's also one that gives you 30,000 bits for free. So, helpful Digimon and not as much helpful Digimon. But they're mostly helpful ones, the Digimon that hang around in the dimensions, essentially. It's like, hey, we're gonna join the city, except we're not gonna be in the city itself. We're gonna be in these, like, dimension things and just, like, chilling and be like, hey, you want some free stuff? Except for the one that charges you 10,000, and you don't get a say in the matter, either. He just takes your money. But yeah, they're mostly mega levels that hang out in the dimensional district, as you would expect. It's like, nah, we're a bit too big to be hanging around the city, you know? Man, I can't remember the last time I'd ever, you know, had to do post-commentary before, to be honest. You know, to some people it comes naturally. To me, not so much, because I've barely even done that before. I think it's been years since I last had to do post-commentary. Because, uh, I usually don't forget to save the damn audio. Can't remember the last time, actually. I remember one time years ago during my uh, last play of Mr. Dungeon. Can't remember which one, it was either the first one or the sequel. Where I'd like, I wasn't happy with my miserable, angry commentary for the video, so I re recorded the audio over it because I was like, nah. It's just like, nah. <laughs> it sounded too pissed off in the video, so I was like, nah, let's run through it. So what did I come to Mod Cape for? Oh yeah, I remember. Went to Mod Cape because, well, you know, Bottomon was going on about there being a Digimon there. And I was like, it's Isle of Metal Cedramon or this annoying Digimon. And uh, I'll leave it up to you to guess on what one that's going to be. You know, it's funny, in the video, I just was trying to pay attention to the card number there as well, and I <laughs> overlooked it again, even in the votes commentary here. I was like, remember the numbers so that I can check it when we get back to the city, but overlooked it once again. Post commentary just doesn't work, man, because I'm not playing the game as I'm, you know, commentating. Doesn't feel right. Especially when I pause like that, it's like, what was I? Oh yeah, I remember. See that bit in the background there, that bit of some ship? I thought it kind of looked like some kind of shadow figure or something. This Cedarmon is hostile despite the fact that we're Megalin, so it's quite ballsy. I wonder how syncing up the audio for this will work. Maybe I'll just put the microphone closer to it. My speakers. Well, not right now, but maybe when like a character is talking. I don't know. I usually use, use the point where like I'm camping essentially. That would be when I you know, have the um, you know audio sync up bit because you know the protagonist be talking and there wouldn't be any music. And there confirms it right there, the asshole I was not hoping to see. That down there is the Digimon that has bullshit requirements. I was expecting Metal Seedramon, but I got the asshole. Makes sense because he is connected to Bartolomeon, so 
wasn't surprised, but I wasn't amused. And these cedar mono is like, excuse me, excuse me, just pass them through. And they disappear and then reappear. So this arsehole right here is similar to Garurum on the new regional world. <laughs> they provide a twist here and speed up my steps by 0 0.2 seconds. Ah, you're a human, so what do you want from me? Oh right, you know about Grima, don't you? Don't you? How long did I pause on this floor? Maybe this was the point where I was like, okay, this arsehole is the Garurumon of this game. He's got nine requirements. And I'm not sure. Actually, he mentioned you before. Yes, he did. Said he'd take up residence in this game. You must be the one going around inviting these other heads. Actually, I'm honored by rival ones. Things a little that you talk to me seconds. Well, that's, like I said in the original recording, it's because you didn't appear until after that. But it really doesn't matter, actually. So you lied, as I said. What matters is whether or not I can defeat my rival in the game. Well, whatever. Once I achieve that, I'll join you in your city. I'll work, you can assist me if you want to. You can't interfere with the duel, of course. Yeah, we can help out the I hand with research and training. This is a long story, so listen up. In the past, I've lost my life in the The first bout, it was an utter feat. His power and fighting in sync are practically at a genius. Then, after much training and studying, I lost again. Though it wasn't as much of a one-sided defeat. From that experience, I understood that I need to follow patterns better if I want to handle this fighting side. First, that punch. I want to temper my fighting style to take on this punch. Does your partner have any punching attack? So I can use a sparring partner. If only there was a Digimon around with a punch attack. So yeah, you gotta have a Digimon with a punch attack, and you can't use items in the fight. And I can't fully remember, but I think you might have to fight him twice. Second time is on a different day. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I think it's actually yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm remembering that. Didn't fully remember originally. Yeah, you gotta fight him twice. With two different requirements, he's really annoying. Come to me when your partner's master a deadly punch. I need a practice partner so I can defeat Bancho. He's the most annoying, most pain in the ass Digimon in the entire game to get in the city. Because his requirement is so annoying. And I think I also, at this point, rambled on about stumbling across uh, true facts on YouTube, the uh, Z Frank, Z Frank, or whatever pronunciation is on that. Uh, amusing videos, and I, you know, only re I've been binge watching most of them, but then I came across the Mantis Shrimp one. It's like that for such a little creature has some insane power behind its punches. It's really fast and powerful. And then, so I was like, okay, it's. I mean, it's underwater as well, at that speed, that's just insane. The power on it, the bubbles, they're just like crazy. You can destroy some, it's like... And then I saw a video, and like, someone catches a mana shrimp. Bit too careless, gets too close to his foot, pierces right through the guy's boot, and pierces his skin, and makes him bleed. It's like, damn, that is one powerful little bastard. Just insane the power of some animals. So I was probably rambling on a bit longer than I just did there, but yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine a mantis shrimp if it was bigger than it actually is? And you know, added even more power to its punch? That'd be insane. So at this point I was like, do I have, yeah I do have an autopilot, but I was like, now I'll let's venture fill in the mod game to see if I can, you know, go to absolute zero instead. Spoilers, I didn't get to absolute zero in this video, but I did accomplish something else instead. Okay, I see. I was wondering when I originally recorded that, I was like, how did I end up in the battle? It seems one of my Digimon kind of nuts you the body. That's how the battle began. But hey, you get some money and fish. What more can you ask for? 
Well, you could ask for much more than that. Some good stat boosts would be one other additional thing. <laughs> Cedropod is just like, yeah, let, him, let me pass. Yeah, well, it's weird. This feels more like a React video or something, because I'm not actually playing the game now, am I? It's kind of weird. So I was like, you know what? Do you have something new? And then, yep, he certainly does. Hey, you, can you show me your bottom dick? What was that? Because we've got the lab upgrade enough for him to you know, acknowledge us now. Mm -hmm. His aerodynamic form reduces drag and increases attack speed. Ah. And I must have rambled a bit more about how you need the lab to get me. Oh, how rude of me. I am early. Research in Digimon forms and functions. I have a favor to ask about that. In order to gather some research that are to die battle your apartment Digimon. So, he's another one asks, so you know, be defeated in battle. If it helps you with your research, man. Oh, you'll accept my request. I want some extremely accurate data. Come at me at full power. Spoilers, I didn't come at him at full power. I didn't end up relying on the cross evolution like I thought I might have. Because, you know, I saw that right as I was like, hey, yeah, we don't stand a chance, but. You know? Didn't need to have the, uh, you know, cross dissolution. It just find balance. So like spoilers for how this match ultimately ends. It's like, yeah, I got my ass kicked. So we didn't get him. No, obviously I defeated him in this battle. Spoilers. Yes. You know, another interesting thing here is, because I'm doing the post commentary, I don't have the headphones on. So I can hear the audio from the game a lot more clear, because you know, the headphones are around about the sound. So. Shouldn't it be the opposite? It's like, yeah, but I have it muted. The uh, CapCut software is out of sync, which is why I have to sync up the audio. Well, I could, you know. Have. I mean, I think there is a way to wait. Okay, okay, that's enough. And still, I have quite enough that still movement your dick one cannot be explained by my analysis. Perhaps I've stumbled upon some new research data. Oh, and I heard there's a research lab in the city. Yes. Okay, I'll go get a detailed analysis of this pressure thing. You have my heartfelt thanks for helping me acquire it. And so, where reviewed Ramon joined the city. What was I saying? <laughs> Man, even in post commentary, I forget stuff instantly. <laughs> so at this point, I was still kind of thinking of heading to absolute zero, but like I said, I didn't ultimately end up going there. But whatever. Man, that bugs me though. I can't even remember what I was talking about. Yes. I uh, card number 100. I remember making note of that so that you could look at the cards later on to confirm what card it was. And you know, always giving the most low quality pirate merchandise the black atom on there. What else to say? <laughs> I still can't remember what I was saying before. You know, Hera Vidramon got defeated, and you know, I had to voice act, and so I was like, oh, and completely forgot what I was talking about. So, not much of notes going on here, is there?
giant bottom on, which I don't fight because I need my weapon there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bird. You're making it a little hard to pick up the audio. <laughs> Hopefully now they <laughs> put the microphone close to the speakers. Pick up the protagonist talking in Japanese so I can use it to sync up the audio. Oh yeah. It's like they can have some crispy bacon too, why not? They're neutral toward bacon, but it's bacon. I remember rambling a little bit about bacon. I was like, I don't get what people's obsession is with bacon. Because there's some people that just seem to... Oh yeah, my Digimon are showing signs of getting close to fading away. And... Oh yeah, I forgot. I mentioned I was like, looked at the age of my Digimon, and maybe that was in the first part. I was surprised how long they lived. But you know, bacon, I don't get what why people obsess so much over it. It's, it's kind of overrated if you ask me. <laughs> it's alright, I just. It's not something I really go out of my way to eat. Maybe I just haven't had the best quality bacon in the world, I guess, I don't know. Bacon's okay. Really, it's kind of a pain, you know, just like, I'm not playing the game, I can't remember what I was like, the commentary was. So I'm just kind of wandering around here, and I'm like, what, when did I, you know, end up going back to the city? Oh yeah, I remember. So I could give the yellow merchandise to Black Adam on it, then I could go back to the city. All of the merchandise is, of course, very cheap. Hey, all of that rounds up to 900, Oi! which isn't really much, but still. We have more than, you know, battling a Seedramon in this area. Go back, Ryuji, I have good news. I paused for a moment because I was rambling wrong. Hero Vidramon has come back to float here. He's gone to the lab, and he's a really serious, hard-working guy. City Park Penny is now 110. It's actually a real city now. So at this point where I was like, wait, 110? Wasn't it 107 previously? So it wasn't with three points? Can't remember what I did here. Maybe I was rambling. Well, I was probably rambling, because I'm always rambling. Rambling about what? <laughs> Possibly Aero Vidramon, maybe something else. So, I went to check on Aero Vidramon, point out, show what he does, because it's like, you know, it could actually be useful here. But then I find out that's not really the case. Because <laughs> I never really, you know, uh, What's up? You need me for something? I bet I know. Yeah, you want to learn skills, right? Leave it to me if you want to learn an air or nature attack skill. So he teaches you moves, basically. I thought it's gonna, it's like, even back in the day, I didn't really end up using any of these. I mean, maybe one or two. But, you know, you learn them so easily from battle, so it seems pointless for the most part. Even me, if you want to learn an hour on nature, it's tax Which skill do you want to learn? I was like, um, how about air skill? He's like, all right then, how about I teach you thunder song? It's like, that sounds nice. Okay, I'll take 50 freaking. It's like, no. What's that? Not enough. It's like, I'm not made of money. I can't afford that shit. It's like, ridiculous. That's way too overcharged. You get it so late in the game, you've already probably learned most of them. 
so it feels pointless. I mean, look at that. The electric type, air type, I suppose. That one's I have the least amount of moves unlocked for. But you look at the other ones, and I've got most of the moves already there. By the way, there's no Digimon that joins a city that gives you the poop skills. There's a Digimon for each of the other skills, so that will join the lab. I think in total there's four Digimon, which makes sense. Because it's like. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there'd be eight, so yeah. Two skills for each Digimon. But nobody gives a crap about the crap, so you gotta learn that some other way. So it was at this point where I was like, okay, we're, we're, it's time to retire from this life cycle, let's go fishing. But first I had to check on the card. And card 100 was Ryudama. Ryudama. Which I assume means dragging something. I know, and it was at this point where it's like, you know, Digimon seem to have a uh, bit more of their original Japanese name retained, whereas Pokemon doesn't quite do the same thing to a much an extent. Like, like I went over Penguinmon there. It's like uh, I, I rambled to give examples different in the original recording, but you know, Penguinmon, that's obviously. You know, not a direct translation, I mean, maybe it would have, you know, been the Japanese equivalent of with Penguin plus Mon, but it didn't, you know, like, Ogamon, for example, that's obviously straight up Japanese name, and the Ryota, whatever the hell Mon, that's obviously Japanese as well, it didn't have to translate it, so it's more English translation. Does that, does that make any sense? Whereas in Pokemon, you don't really have that as much. Like Bulbasaur, Ivasaur, Venusaur, they've got different names in Japanese. Whereas you've also got Pikachu, and I assume Raichu is also the same. Where pretty much the Japanese name is the same as the English name. Then get Ike. I mean, what does Pika even mean? It's definitely Japanese. I mean, it's basically the electric mouse or something like that, isn't it? I mean, it'd be kind of an awkward translation if you just did that to straight up English, like, okay. So Pikachu, the mascot of the series, is called Electric Mouse. Doesn't quite have a Pokemon-like ring to it, does it? Oh yeah, I was going over those. You can definitely see that some of them are translated while I was just maintain their, retain their Japanese names. Like Goblimon. Might just be Gobrimon. Maybe it's like B instead of. I you know. Uh, go, yeah, Re instead of Lee Goblimon. I don't know. Gadamon also is definitely one of those ones that retains the Japanese name. I mean, I assume this based on how the uh, wording of the names definitely fit into the Japanese language. I was also like, wait, did we have the Gatamon card before this point? Because, you know, I can't remember. And then I r rambled about uh, Lord Nightmon. Who, for whatever reason, in both this and Cyber Sleuth, it's called Crusadermon, which is weird. More so in Cyber Sleuth because, you know, it has voice acting. And, you know, this Crusadermon, in quotation marks, would introduce themselves as Lord Nightmon. Or Roda Nightmare, you know, Japanese, they don't have the L's, but that is basically what its name is, but it wasn't translated as Lord Nightmare, which is weird, because you can hear it say that name's very clearly. Makes no sense. But yeah, Digimon, they seem like they maintain their original Japanese names for the most part. There's a weird thing with Phoenixmon as well, I think in 
Cyber Sleuth it has its Japanese name, which is Oomon or whatever it was. Which is basically, if you type Phoenix Mon into Google Translate, oh. it will translate to that name, so... It's kinda odd. Phoenix Mon works as well. I mean, it is basically what it's called. But yeah, that's one that I have, you know. Okay, let's, you know, take the English one, because, you know, home on or whatever. Might seem a bit too confusing to wrap. Maybe that's how they judge some of it. Like, if it's too complicated, yes. we'll translate it to make it easier to pronounce. Even though we don't have voice acting for these Digimon names, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, yeah, I was like, oh, can we, you know, uh, trade any of these fish that I've got? And none of the fish that I find are the ones he's after. No, Rayquaza, man. Is it pronounced? No, not no. Rayquaza. It's not a Digimon. <laughs> it's a Pokemon. You don't add Mon to the end. Is that how it's pronounced? That's definitely not Japanese. It's, I mean, Japanese wouldn't have a Q in there. What language is used for that? Ah, the Pokemon. I don't know. Then you got Kyogre as well. Stuff like that. And Groudon. In some way, you could kind of see it working in Japanese, but maybe you have to change the round bits. <laughs> just kind of looked at him and it's like, you guys all right back there? <sighs> now there's a fish I'm gonna catch right here that screws things up for me a bit here. Is so it this one? Yep. Because I'm like, ah, okay. Oh, and I did it right after. That's hilarious. Oh, you've got a black dish right now off your hands. Yeah, we can talk. Because the thing is, right, you gotta talk to Vikemon to initiate a quest to obtain free black Digitrout, but you can't have them on hand that before talking to him, because that would count as cheating. So I caught them and then immediately went to him and couldn't start the quest because I already had what he was after. Oh man, that is just so typical, isn't it? Hindsight makes it even more hilarious, because it was right after I caught them as well. Oh, that's just so typical. Granted, I would have still had to catch a third one, but still, that's... that's kind of annoying. So I, you know, stored the fish. Along with the Digivolution item. I will eventually put them in storage. Just kind of ignoring them, but there we go. Yeah, the thing is, I was expecting this part to start off with my Digimon fading away, but it takes them quite a while to fade away, so... Yeah, that didn't really go out you know, quite the way I was intended to. I tried talking to Vikemon's ass, but Vikemon's ass didn't answer, so I had to go around. Oh, welcome, I have something for you. Let me explain my training method to you. You will need to fish free black digit trout, which I already got two of right before talking. How typical. So it didn't count as a result. But in that time you can't leave the area or load down. Of course, food and portable toilets, etc. are your own responsibility. So you want to give it a try. There's something good in it for you if you succeed. And let's start. Once you have all three black digit trout talk to me. Can you well, I'm gonna give you a, a spoiler. <laughs> I don't find any after that point. I fish and I fish and I fish and I couldn't find what I was looking for. It's like I knew this fishing hole had them because I already fished them. And I was like, I told my Digimon, I was like, hey, can you stop making death sounds over there? You're scaring the fish. <laughs> yes. That's like, that's kind of like, I can imagine that in a dark comedy. Just like someone's like dying and like someone's like watching TV is like, Shh, can you be quiet and watch TV or something, you know, just like 
You're minor inconvenient. You don't mind. You're making it very inconvenient for me right now. It's like, yeah, but they're dying. It's like, well, die faster then. It's like, you heartless bastards. <laughs> Definitely, you know, dark, like, there's a fair bit of dark comedy in British, you know, humor. Yes. I think that's like one of the uh, comparisons to make between like uh, British and American humor. American humor is a bit more optimistic compared to, uh, you know, a bit more of a pessimistic kind of yes. you know, humor. Instead of like, you know, basic, like I remember was in a video where someone like made a comparison now. American comedy is more like, you know, they yes. triumph in the end, where it's, you know, British humor is all about, you know, just being a complete failure. <laughs> You're just like, no, it doesn't work out in the end. They're an absolute loser. Oh. So I was at this point, I'm like, screw it. I'm gonna give my Digimon some food at a restaurant. Screw this little quest. But then suddenly tragedy struck. You had a real adventure. He didn't get his last meal. How very depressing. Don't get depressed. Your partner's gonna be reborn. You're gonna hear him in Japanese. So that's the first time you and Jijimon's Japanese voice actor voice this a little bit. So that's that's new, I guess. So when was yeah there we go. It's like speed, strength, fan, stamina, right there. Wisdom, I wasn't gonna go with the DLC one, so it's like okay. Let's have a look what ones they evolved to. All of them we've had previously. So it's like, hmm, how to decide. I eventually decided, you know, to flip the uh, spec savers case. To decide between the one that has strength and the one between that has stamina. Because I was like, screw speed, let's go strength or stamina. So this is obviously where I would have flipped the uh, spec series case. Any moment now. Yep. And it landed on the spec series logo, which was strange. There we now. And you know, unfortunately, I made it so red didn't even get a last meal either. That's heartbreaking. Didn't get some, you know, lovely last meal. Instead, go to the gym to train some more. 22, though, that is insane. Very long lifespan for a digital. Like I said, the uh, longest lived Digimon I think I ever had in this game lived up to 29 days. So it did evolve after just one hour. Now, interestingly enough, this video recording went on for like 15 minutes or so, but I definitely think I had some point in the video where I edited or intended to edit in Danny's video. He had a real adventure, don't get depressed now. And, uh, just put the microphone closer to the speaker for that, why not? Uh, what was I saying? Well, this one I also decided, you know. Uh, well, I. 
Well, there's actually more than two options, I think, isn't there? I decided against Poyamon based on the fact that they had two Digimon that were already yeah, yeah, that's wisdom. Spoilers, I go for the one with stamina. Because, you know, strength and stamina. Why not? But yeah, that, that, they're just red. It is like 57 minutes long, 51 minutes maybe. I definitely remember there was a point in the video where I planned to edit, but because, you know, I accidentally deleted the recording before saving it, I can't remember what point in the video that was supposed to originally be. I definitely remember there being a point in the video where I was like, okay, uh, off screen, you know, maybe I didn't. Maybe that just wasn't a thing after all. And I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, at this point I realized Gumdramon, I think, is the one that digivolves to a Restramon. Which I assume it might be a Mega Level, so that's insane going from Rookie to Mega Level. And even if it's not, that's still insane. So I didn't really have much choice of that, because, you know, they're gonna be sleeping, so. You know, Gabamon is not going to be obtainable. So I went to the dojo and I was like, hey, can you help me out here because, uh, you know, make it so that it's a Digimon that I haven't updated previously. Then I was like, hey, and he's like, you already talked to me, and I was like, okay, time for bed. And so, he digivolved, as was to be expected. It's like, I digivolved, and then, it's like, I'm gonna do it again, I'm gonna digivolve right after digivolve. This is where I got it mixed up, because when it did both, I was like, wait, that wasn't one of Tsunomon's iterations, because I wasn't paying attention. Demi Devimon, so, you know, I didn't really get much of a choice of that, I couldn't even block off Lopmon, but it's good. Yeah. Digivolve to a Digimon I hadn't had previously anyway, because, you know, there's so many options, but... There were four other options. Gaumon. I find it funny how they match up perfectly. I mean, look at them. Blue and red. I mean, that's even their names as well. It's I just now realize that. That's, that's perfect. And, you know, red... Well, no, that doesn't really fit. <laughs> it's just like... Red is more blue than uh, blue. Red has more red than the blue. Does that even make sense? So there's one locked off there. I know one of them is Devon now. The top one. It was like, oh, interesting, you know, more ice and water based moves. I don't know what this like. Because it's back to raising these Digimon yeah, at this point, so. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, you know, because you can't really head out anywhere with the Digimon are uh, rookie level like this, especially at this point in the game. But look, they got matching colors. I mean, it's not quite the same shade of blue, but hey, blue and red. Oh yeah, and I was like, okay, what other Digimon options would I have had? And the answer is... Shambamon, Toyogmon, Black and Blue. 
I wonder if I met the requirement for all of them. Because they didn't have that be the case with Sunoman, but Sunoman has you know, Gammon and Gumdamon, which have a little higher requirements, stat-wise. So I was like, okay, let's, you know, check what their preferences are now, because it's obviously changed. And to the surprise of no one, absolute zero and full text magna. Well, maybe that last one was, but absolute zero always seems to be incompatible with a lot of Digimon, but now those two areas would definitely not be ideal to go to with rookie level. So I went about picking up some daily shites. It's like, it's a very different experience than when, you know, playing the game. Because I'm just looking at me just like, you know, doing all this. This is stuff we could easily off screen. It's like I was making that comparison. It's like you know, some people will edit a lot of their videos. So like everything progresses very quickly. There's no dead time like this, you know, where nothing of real interest is happening. But I'm the opposite. I keep editing to a very minimum. And as you can see, the field has been upgraded. It was the final upgrade as well, so it's fully upgraded now. Agricultural district's village is getting grades. The final grades. I didn't talk to them immediately after because I wanted to check what their food preferences before sending them out to find stuff. You can see right there, it's got a fifth slot now. Wild mushrooms and meats. I don't know why they just have an exclamation mark for that. It's a bit confusing. And then I went back, just like, wait, could you repeat that? Which one likes the mushrooms? I mean, it's obvious. I knew Gaumon was probably gonna like meats, and Demi Devimon would obviously be the mushroom one. So I was like, you know what? Let's uh, plant some meat because that's how meat works. You know, like the sound effects somebody is now picking up on that. The sound effects the same as from the original Digimon World. Like maybe not all of them, but you know when you're going down in the menus and stuff like that, definitely sounds like it. So obviously you can tell. I went with the item shop. You can tell now because I just clicked on it. <laughs> I forget what the item... Well, I should have maybe looked at the description for once, you know? It would have probably pointed out what it actually operates. So at this point, I think it was like, okay, let's go to the gym, train for a little bit. Train until you're hungry. Also now realizing, I didn't even get to show off what Skull Greymon does. If you talk to him within training Digimon, he will... Like, kind of, his presence will intimidate your in training Digimon and give him a slight stat boost. But in a perfect opportunity, but unfortunately, you know, didn't really get much of a choice there. Because, you know, the time of day where my Digimon decided to do the I mean, it's not like they had any choice in the matter, but still. It's like because they happened to fade away kind of late in the day, they were, you know, tired upon being reborn. It's like, I'm reborn! Oh, I'm gonna take a nap. So, uh, you know, I didn't get Gabumon, but there is a potential to get Garurumon because Gaumon can digivolve to him as well. Not sure what that other one is, though. So it's like, let's go eat at the restaurant. 
But before that, I was like, you know what? Let's stock up. Well, not stock up. Just buy two Digivolution items. It's like, your ones are too expensive. I'm gonna buy a bunch of Leomon's ones instead. To show how Antaliamon's role in the city works. Because you give Antaliamon Digivolution crystals or whatever they're called. And you'll unlock Digivolution information. Champion level 1 only unlocks one information, though, so instead of like two. I think the ultimate levels might give you three and they go four. I don't know. I forget. Maybe it's not really much of a difference. I mean, it definitely is between champion and ultimate. I don't remember that much. So I'll give you some lovely mushroom soup. But you know. Only one of them likes the mushrooms, so I was like, we gotta have, you know, a balanced diet, so have some overdone meat as well. If that becomes their favorite, it's gonna be a pain in the ass for the mushrooms. Well, not really. I mean, it is kind of pricey, I suppose. So you give them a digivolution item and you're like rumble rumble ha And it didn't really get the information I was looking for. What <laughs> a bond me when you lose your way, farewell. I will say the same thing over and over again each time you talk to me. Can you guess? Yeah, it's information I didn't really need. <laughs> it's like damn it, why can you unlock the all oh, Digimon? Information, the one that I don't know. Some point here, uh, yeah, right here. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, let's actually check on the. Uh, because we don't know what Digimon some of them are, because there's at least one of them that's, you know, not revealed, but, you know, show the percentage. I say one, there's more than one there, isn't there? That's obviously Devimon at the top there. And I was like, oh, Black Gardamon's actually possible. If I keep it under that weight limit and get the MP to that, I could get Black Gardamon. I'm not sure I want the one below it is, though. Not even sure what the locked one is either. Other than Gruamon, you know, uh, Gamon's got two other options that are already there. We just gotta, you know, just gotta remember when I, you know, play the game next. Oh yeah, I was like trying to get him to stand uh, facing straight ahead, but he's still having none of it. He moves like a tank. There was moments after this where the tragedy happened, where I accidentally deleted the original recording audio. So that's why I'm doing the postcard now. But hopefully when I record next, I'll not only remember to bloody save the damn audio, but also, um, you know, uh, remember to watch the weight of my So anyways, see you next time, viewers. See you next time.